Today, guys, I am working on a 2005 Kawasaki Mule 3010. It has a fuel system problem, causing it to shut down when the choke is released, and fuel mixer screws are not helping the running problem. The first thing I found immediately wrong was the steel gas tank was full of rust. These pictures show the rust in the fuel cap, inside the gas tank, and inside the fuel filter. In order to remove the fuel tank, you need to remove the fuel hose on top of the tank and both of the tank straps, and then you can remove it from the vehicle. Once I got the gas tank out, I still needed to get the rest of the fuel and most of the rust out of the tank. When I extracted the remaining fuel, it clogged my extractor three times. That's how bad the rust was on the tank. This is just a small amount of what was actually in the tank. I had to strip the gas tank down to the bare tank so I could get it clean and coated to prevent further rust. The fuel level float needed to be removed to send it out. While the gas tank is out, it is a good time to clean the area and install a new fuel filter. Technically, this one had the wrong style and size fuel filter in it, so I put the right style in. This is the cleaned up gas tank. Check out the red coating and the fuel neck. I picked up fresh fuel and added seafoam fuel treatment and marine fuel stabilizer to the tank. The running problem improved, but it still wasn't completely right, so I need to remove the carburetor. First, remove the four screws for the intake box and the air intake hose. Pull the box out. Then remove the fuel hose, vent hose, and both cooling lines. If you have hose pinchers, you can pinch the hoses to prevent losing too much coolant. Next, pop off the throttle linkage, unbolt the choke cable, remove the spring and breather hose, and you can now remove the four bolts holding the intake base and carburetor to the engine. It does have lineup dowels, so be careful and pull it straight out. Take a little time to clean the carburetor mounting surface and cover the holes with a rag or put paper towels on the holes while you're doing the carburetor work. Assuming you have a carburetor rebuild kit, scrape all the old gaskets off and use a scotch brake pad and toothbrush with brake clean to clean the outside of the carburetor. These are some before teardown carburetor reference pictures. Remove the four screws for the float bowl, then you can pull the pin out and lift the float and needle from the carb. Remove the two screws for the carb vent fitting and rock it back and forth to clear the other two fittings. After I cleaned the carb, reassembled all new gaskets and reused the original jets, the vehicle ran great. Set the mixer screws at about two turns out and fine tune from there. Adjust the idle low enough so the trans will shift without grinding. This is my quality check road test. The vehicle ran, idled, and shifted well after all the work. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video, and please subscribe to support my channel so I can continue making helpful videos for you all.